What's up everybody? How y'all doing today? Guys, I want to make crappy ceviche. And that's what I decided I wanted to do today. I want to make some for this afternoon. It's going to get cold tomorrow. It's warm today. I'm going to do a little cooking out today, but I want to have some ceviche as like a side dish. So I want to make that and I want to make it out of crappie. So I got the kayak and I'm out here at a neighborhood pond. One of these ponds you saw me on one of my Google challenges from the past in one of my videos. We're going to hit this pond, see if we can entice them on some jigs. And I've got some new jigs I'm using guys, a new profile that I'm going to for my own brand. I'll show you those in a second. And um, really that's it. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to move around. I got a couple spots to check. Wore my wading boots so that I could get out here in the water. The pond is low, so it was harder to get the truck down low enough to get the kayak out. So I needed, I needed to wade out into the water a little bit. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna use my paddle to get away from this grass. We got mossy grass growing right here. I don't want any of that on me. I can help it. That grass is good. That'll be a good place for those black crappie to spawn in. All right. We'll uh, drop the motor. I heard it. There she goes. Throw on the electronics. try that whole pitching thing let's see any of these fish want to play the pitching 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 catch game yeah I got one I scared the rest of them but I got one and it was black crappie and he's a keeper and that's what they're doing they're out in the wide open and that's not good for me because it's hard to catch them like that and I just scared off the whole school. I gotta figure out where they went. That's what we're looking for. Whether or not we can keep catching them like that is a whole another story. We'll try. We can try. All we need is a few quality fish, so not like we need tons. At least we know what we're looking for now. Out in the wide open, guys, just hanging out in the middle of the water column. As soon as that fish got caught, the rest of them took off. So gotta look for them. I'm looking 50 foot out. Man, they are hard to chase. Guys, they are hard to chase. If I can just get a jig into them, though, they stopped. They stopped. Here we go. Got one. Yes, sir. That's another one. Wide open, wide open school of black crappie sitting in suspended at 10 foot in 25 foot of water. Oh, he just broke off. But I'm four pound test, so I'm not surprised that he broke off. Not surprised. Okay guys, we found the school and it isn't what we expected. All right, come here. We got the stinky pants stringer. You guys, I'll put a link in my uh, description for a coupon code for stinky pants stringers. They're a little pricey, but I really like them. So, oh, there's that school. It's completely behind us, which isn't surprising because the wind's turning me around. All we got to do is get close. If we can get close enough for me to pitch on them. 
will be in the money, guys. 15 feet. They're pretty deep now. Got one. Pulled one right out of there. He don't feel as big, but he's fighting hard at the boat. Oh, yeah. Big. Same size. Nice. Nice keepers. 12-inch fish all day long. 12-inch fish all day long. Like I said, we'll shoot for about six of these to make ceviche with. And, uh, bam. Open water fish, guys. That's how you got to do it in this time of year. It's really, it's really not hard. Um, you just got to get the hang of it. They're 10 foot down, so I got to let that sink for a little while before I start reeling. Got one. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. Heck, yeah. That's a bigger one. They're 10 foot. I'm drifting over the top of them. I don't want to spook the school because it'll bust them up. So... Don't want to spook them because it'll bust them up. I don't want them to get too far out because I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I can see that. There we go. I'm going to come right through them. There he goes. Got him. Lost my school, need spot lock, so I don't lose them. I wanna break my line, I don't wanna break my line. Got gold, and that gold, that's a golden Dorado, I don't know what I wanna call it. That gold is money right now. Right, we gotta find them. I'll find them again, there they are. Not too bad. It wasn't hard at all. They're chasing the shad big time. I'll just come right through them. Got one. One of them hit it. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Yep. That's a nice one. Nice fish, guys. Ugh. The gold is definitely getting it done. I love gold on a hand tie for sure. Wasn't sure how I'd feel about it on a plastic, but she's getting it done. So we got, let's see, I can't tell. I can't count. Five or six. Yeah, that's six right there. We could do fish fry and ceviche, I guess. We want to catch a few extras. We could do both. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Open water. I love it. That one feels big, guys. He's really mad. That one right there is, is, oh yeah, that one right there is ticked. Got, I got him wrapped around my transducer wire. All right. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one of the day. I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose him. He's going to try to get off. Yeah, look at that one. Woohoo! Got some nice fish out here. I'm trying to get this hook out. <laughs> there's only I'm going to take some ceviche to my neighbor uh, also so that's another reason for maybe catching a little extra there we go you stay on them you'll catch them that's for sure. These are some nice sized fish too. 
really nice size fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, these are nice. 12 solids. That's eight. Look, a little pocket of fish just out in the middle of nowhere. And that's what, it, what, what we're doing is we're casting on the other side of them. We're just casting to the other side of where they are. And uh, casting to the other side of them and then letting that jig drop kind of in front of them. Try and make sure you see where you are if you can. Got him. Wow, he came up and nailed it, guys. He followed it for a long time. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one, guys. Ooh, that's a big one. Don't lose him. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Woo hoo hoo hoo. That's a big old black crappie. That's a big one. We're not talking like, you know, record bigging, but for this lake, that's a, look how fat. That fish is pound and a half. So I ain't complaining about a pound and a half black crappie out of a, out of a stock pond. All right, we're gonna count. I think that's nine. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. So three more. We got half a limit and we're leaving. And every one of those were caught in open water, just right out in open water, guys. Uh, I think that they kind of are going to want a pitch, a pitch presentation, a swimming presentation, but maybe I'm wrong. Got him. Nope, got him on a vertical. Oh, he's mad too. Oh, he's mad. Got him. Get him in a boat. Uh, that's 10. Every one of these fish, guys, is going about 12 inches. And that's my that's what I found the last time I came out here. It was about all 12 inch fish. All blacks, all about 12. Plus, there's two fish on there that are between 13 and 14. Those are nice. Nice fish. Well, I guess I know what I need to be looking at in other places I fish too because this is going to be a consistent pattern. And I'm so... Got him. Oh, get in this boat. Get in this boat. Do not break my line. I'm using four pound line, guys, and these are pretty heavy fish. So, oh, that's another big one. Golly, guys, that's another big old fat one. Big old fat one. Oh. We're gonna have some good eating tonight. Go home and clean these guys up. I think that's 11. Is that 10? That's 11, I think. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, eleven. One more, guys. One more. We gonna call it. We gonna give them a break. Got him. That's it. That's number 12. Oh, another big one. Oh, that's a big one. Those are nice ones. Oh, he's not as big as I thought coming out of the water. I mean, he's good. Don't get me wrong. He's good. He's just not as big as I thought. I thought it was going to be one of those 14s. Well, guys, my plastic made it through half a dozen. Half a dozen. And that's the profile right there. Right there. So, gold is the ticket today. We're gonna leave the rest of these fish alone. We're gonna go home and clean them and prep them for dinner.
go home and clean them and prep them for dinner. I'm not even going to leave my live scope in the water because I don't want to be tempted. <laughs> don't want to be tempted. Got home, got those fish clean, guys. I spared you all the uh, fish cleaning part. Eh, no use in showing that. So uh, we got them cleaned up. I've got them sitting in a brine in the refrigerator right now, pulling the residual blood out of the meat. I went over, told the neighbors I was gonna bring them dinner, took a shower. Now let's get in here and get the food started. I usually start off with a little bit of butter on the fillets, and I'm gonna take them out and stick them in the Traeger and let them cook until they're just about right. We'll start with the bell peppers. Now normally I'll use chilies, but I don't think my neighbors have the palate for the spice that we do. Growing up in New Mexico, we eat a lot of hot food, so let's just make it easy for them. That way they'll enjoy it. A Little bit of orange and green bell pepper, a little bit of red bell pepper. And down the road, we'll throw in a little diced jalapeno ribbed and seeded just for a little bit of heat, but just a little. Guys, I put a lot of cucumber in my ceviche, and one of the things that you definitely want to do is make sure you get all the green off when you're peeling the cucumbers because they uh, tend to be bitter if you leave that green on. There's that jalapeno I was telling you about. Now I took all the seeds out, took the ribs out, made sure I don't have any heat for those folks. Not sure what they like. Now, I tend to use red onion over white or yellow onion because it's a little sweeter and has a better flavor. If you want to get rid of some of the onion in it, onion, onioniness, steep the onions in water that's about 200 degrees. I'll let them sit in there for a couple of minutes and it'll make those onions sweet, but it won't caramelize them. Now, the one staple thing that you want is cilantro. I like a lot of cilantro in my ceviche, also in my hot sauce. I like to cut, cut it up pretty small. I don't want big old flakes of cilantro in there. I want to kind of keep it small. It's a little hard to mix this up with one hand and hold the camera, but that's what we're going to do because there ain't no one around to help me. So let's just do this. We got that fish out of the smoker and uh, it's well done. And I'm going to coarse chop that just kind of get it ready to go in. I don't want it too fine. I don't want it little bitty tiny, tiny pieces. I want to kind of just have a coarse chop on it. Then we're going to add a little bit of salt to it and then we'll add it to the mixture. Now I don't add a lot of salt to the ceviche because we eat it with tortilla chips that are seasoned and our chips that we use are really salty. So you get all your salt from the chips. So add the fish to the mixture and just start mixing it up good. And you don't want to mix it too hard because you don't want to smash that fish up into little bitty bitty pieces. So just kind of give it a coarse mix. And see if you can add your citrus juice at this point. Now I'm going to use about five or six limes and a couple lemons. I probably should use more, but I don't want it to overpower my ceviche. I want it to kind of have a good balance between the, uh, you know, citrus and the, the rest of the flavors in the bowl. Add the onions out of that water and uh, they should be real nice and sweet. Toss in avocado at the last minute. Now I take my avocados, run a knife around the perimeter, pull them, drive a knife into the seed, pull the seed out, drop it in the trash. Take the knife and score a grid pattern in your avocado while it's still in the shell and you can scoop it all out at once and it'll already be diced up and you don't have to mess with it on the cutting board. So that's how I do that. And that's how a lot of people do that. You got that last little cut and then you'll see me, we'll scoop it out and it'll be completely diced, ready to go in the bowl. Do this other one well there it is guys that's what it looks like all finished out oh and don't forget the fried fish you gotta fry up some crappie crappie nuggets right there guys you guys have a good evening and enjoy